What's up, you guys? It's Aditi here. I'm super excited to dive into today's class. So I'm trying to do something cool here, and I'm trying to connect with my peeps on Zoom as well as stream with you guys here on Facebook. So uh, where did I put my phone so I can see if it's working? One sec. Should have had it ready, but I have it now. All right, let's see. Um, let's see if I can. Share my screen. Whoa, daddy. Okay, it looks like it worked, you guys. This is very cool, very cool, very cool. I hope it doesn't have an echo. Let's see. All right. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on here for now because it looks like it's just showing all the goods. Okay. Sweetness. All right, awesome. Let's do this, you guys. So I am live here on Zoom. If you guys want to jump on the Zoom link, that's where I'll be doing live questions, all that kind of good stuff. What you want to do is sign up, if you haven't already, at getseengetpaid.com slash method, okay? And then you'll get an automatic email, which will give you the Zoom link, so you can come on there, hang out with us there, and ask any questions that you have. All right, so I do ask if you guys are on Zoom, if you guys can keep yourself muted for now until um, we get to the question portion, Okay. Um, now let me share my screen with you guys as well and let's see if that works. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Let me know in the chat box. Yay! Okay, cool. This is working. This is kind of crazy because I'm using two apps at the same time and sharing my screen twice. So I really wasn't sure if it was going to work, but it looks like it's working. All right, cool. So we have some people here live on Zoom. Again, if you want to pop on with us here, um, you want to go to getseengetpaid.com slash method. All right. Now, my friends, if there's any issues, if you can't see my screen, et cetera, et cetera, let a girlfriend know, because there's been times where I was talking, 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 and the screen wasn't showing, but I want to make sure you guys are seeing everything that I want you guys to see, okay? Perfection. Okay, cool. Okay, looks like we got it now. I'm going to minimize this. All right. Super cool. All right, let's jump right in. So everyone, my name is Aditi Ramchandani. I am a digital marketing strategist and I have used this Get Seen method, which I'm going to talk to you guys about today, to bring in my first $90,000. Can you guys celebrate with me for a second? Because that is so crazy. Give me a hand clap or give me something because OMG, when you guys, I totaled up these numbers, I literally just found this out, like maybe last week or like two weeks ago. And I was like, whoa, this has to be a presentation. I'm so close to hitting my first six figures. And that's a really big deal for me. And you guys will see why when I tell you guys my story and kind of where I started and where I am now. All right. Yay. Okay. Some people said you can't hear me that well. Is that, is that the truth for everybody? I just want to make sure. I'll talk louder as well, so hopefully that will help, okay? All right, so now I'm going to get back to sharing my screen. Okay, perfect. Andrea said she can hear me. Okay, cool. So first thing, you guys, I want to know, why do you want to get seen? What drew you to this class? What are you excited about maybe learning or finding out or anything like that? I want to know. Let me know in the comments what drew you to this class. What are you looking to learn here? What do you want to see? What are you coming here for? Why do you want to get seen? 
So let me know in the chat box, let me know in the comments, because guess what? This presentation, I can throw in some more nuggets as we're talking as well, um, if I don't have it in the presentation. So I would love to make sure that I do that. So I will say using two apps at the same time does slow down your computer a little bit. Awesome, I wanna feel 100% ready, wanna have confidence to get seen. Awesome, and you can keep those rolling in as um, it comes up for you if you think of anything else, all right? Did I miss something? Okay, all right, so how? let's get into first how I made $90,000 in my business. Okay, so here's my story. Again, my name's Aditi. I'm an intuitive digital marketing strategist and also a leadership coach. I started my business. So this is the story I was telling you guys about. If you haven't heard it already, or even if you already have, it's so powerful. Okay. I started my business with only $1,500 to my name. And to backtrack behind that even, I was basically in corporate America for six years. I was in a top consulting firm doing business consulting for million dollar contracts. And, you know, I was really excited. I, I genuinely loved it. I love business. I love marketing. I love all of that. But I think it was after around year three, I was starting to get lost in like the political landscape and, you know, doing things that I didn't want to do, like writing white technical white papers and things like that, that weren't fun for me. And it started to become like this extra weight on me that in order to progress in corporate America, I'm going to have to do these things that I'm not interested in and I don't want to write about, right? And at that time, I was um, doing extracurriculars, and in those, I was doing all this branding, all this marketing, all this event planning, all this teaching, all this fun stuff. And I was like, why can't my job be as fun as my extracurricular, like volunteer activities, right? Because those were also business building related activities. I was like, why am I not having this much fun in where I spend most of my time, right? Have any of you guys felt like that before? Have you had maybe a day job or a corporate job where you just felt like, okay, um, what's next or what now? You know, like you, you have the excitement for a while, but then after a while, you have to really, really be invested and really enjoy the work to enjoy it. And I was like, life is too short. Like I see... <laughs> I see a lot of older people super grumpy about life, right? And I'm like, yo, I'm only in my 20s. Like, life isn't going to get any better. I feel like now is the time for me to figure out what I need to do and what's going to make me happy. And at that time, as much as I was trying to get out of corporate America, nothing was coming to me that was better than the offer I already had, right? I was at a top consulting firm and nothing was, no offers were really beating that. And so what I decided was, you know what? I love marketing and I want to study marketing. So I decided to go to grad school for my master's in marketing at Northwestern University and I, best decision of my life, you know, I really got to study marketing because marketing is like, everything to me. I've always really enjoyed it. I've loved the psychology part of it. I love the creative part of it. I love the intuition part of it. And I had been doing marketing since like high school before I even knew what marketing was. And my college degree was also, guess what? Marketing. Like marketing is just everything in my bones, right? And so I decided I'm going to go to grad school and I want to become a marketing expert. I want to be known as a marketing expert and I want to do that. And I would love to do that as my own business. Now, I didn't really know if it was going to be possible right after grad school, but I thought maybe I'll have time to build my business while I'm in school. You know, I had all these ideas and whatever. But the truth was that I did not have any sort of time to work on a business while I'm in grad school. I don't know if any of you guys have done a master's program, but master's programs are super intense and take up all of your time. So I wasn't able to build it. So when it came to um, graduation, right, everybody was applying to jobs. They were interviewing for jobs. They were brushing up their skills. They were doing all that good stuff. And I seriously tried to do those things. And I felt sick to my stomach. Like, it was just like, this is not for you. Keep it moving. Like, my intuition was just so strong. 
And it was like, go into your business, you know? And of course I checked in with my line of healers and coaches and intuitives that I work with. And I was like, am I crazy? Is this a good idea? Am I supposed to do this? Is my soul meant to do this? And every answer I got was yes, yes, and double, triple, yes. Girl, go for it. Now is your time. And, you know, I felt that if I didn't do it now, I didn't know if I would do it later. Because if I were to get into corporate America, I was afraid of being trapped in that um, perceived idea of comfort and security, right? But the truth is, I would have continued on. I would have gotten more depressed, you guys. I know I've talked about this a few times, but if you're new here, I have struggled with depression because I've been super depressed about so many different things in my life and just not feeling fulfilled, not feeling good, but also feeling guilty because I felt like, well, I have so much, right? I should be grateful. You know, I should just take what I have. But the thing is, that really didn't help my health because I just got into deeper levels of depression. And Seriously, my business literally saved my life. And I don't mean that lightly, you guys. There, I Seriously, there were things that I was just like, I don't think any of this is worth living for, you know? And I had to find another way. And stepping into my business really did that for me. So it's not just about, you know, having my, you know, I, th I think, you know, having my own schedule, having my freedom and being able to travel, being able to have Wi-Fi, like those are things my soul craves, you know? All of the other things that I was doing was keeping me feeling trapped and suffocated. And this is what really allowed me to move forward. And I was scared, you guys. I didn't have any savings, like zero savings. And I was like, this is not what any coach would recommend you to do. And I literally had $1,500 to my name. Okay. And to be honest, you guys, I live in Chicago, right? And my rent was $1,400. So guess what? My entire $1,500 went over to having a roof over my head that first month in January of 2016. And I was so scared. I really didn't know if this was going to work. I really didn't know if I was going to make it. And guess what? I had rent to pay in about four weeks. And I was just like, this seems so crazy and I really don't know what I'm doing, but fuck it, right? Let's take a leap of faith. The other stuff was not working for you. Why don't you give this a shot? You know, you love marketing. You love helping people with their marketing. Like, let's do this. Let's give it a shot. And I was like, worst comes to worst. Fine. I'll get a job. I'll do what I need to do. Right. And so I was so paralyzed in fear that January and, you know, I've been talking about it these more, the, more these last two weeks. And I'm like, man, it was crazy. I just was like, what am I doing? What am I going to do? How am I going to get thousands of dollars in four weeks? Okay. So you guys, um, the reason I'm sharing the story to you is maybe you're going through this as well, or maybe you're in a point in your business where you're going to that next level. Right. And that fear literally cripples you and paralyzes you that you can't take action. And that's kind of the place I was in. And I really had to get real with myself and be like, look, Honey, if you want this and you don't want it to go to corporate America, you better start getting seen and let people know that you exist because guess what? You're not going to get any clients any other way. Okay? So, I and using, you know, getting seen and using those methods. I'm going to tell you a story about my first sale too, but all of that stuff over time and over these last 28 months, I've been able to make $90,000 in sales without doing any advertising spend, you guys. No advertising spend. This is all me organically showing up with my heart, serving, delivering, creating, working through my fears and all of that good stuff. Okay. So for me to see this number is just crazy for me because I'm like, whoa, I can't believe I created this with my own expertise, my own creativity, my own intuition. And it's amazing. And I felt like I just had to find I had to share this with you guys too. All right, so let's talk about my first sale, okay? The, and again, the reason I'm sharing this with you is to show you about getting seen, okay? So I was absolutely terrified, as I said, but I thought, hey, what do I have to lose, right? Periscope is really popular right now. I was getting into Periscope. I had tried it six months prior, and I really liked it. I saw people getting traction there, so I decided to give it a shot. I started live streaming every single day, 
and putting myself out there. I started teaching marketing concepts and I made my first pitch. And that day, you guys, I honestly didn't know if anyone was going to buy it, but I, I just knew that I had to pay my rent. I don't have a choice. I have to show up and do the work. And the divine told me it would take care of it and that this was going to work. So I had that small faith. You know, at that time, I didn't completely believe it, but I was like, all right, well, let's do this. And after I did that live stream, I think it was just a 20 minute live stream, a 30 minute live stream. It wasn't very long. A few minutes after I got off that live stream, I got my first sale and it was not a cheap sale. You guys, $79 is not cheap, right? It's not a $10 thing. It's not $15. I was like, wow. And this was a complete stranger who just met me on that live stream broadcast right then. It wasn't someone who had been following me for a while or anything. Okay. And when that PayPal notification came in, I was like, OMG. And it was for my brand tuning workshop, my branding workshop for this business owner. And I was like, whoa, this, this really works. There might be something to this that all these experts are talking about. There must be something to this, right? And I realized by me getting seen and showing up every single week and sometimes every single day, day after day, worked. And it let people know about me. It let people hire me. It let people tell other people about me. It let people understand my knowledge and my expertise and how I could help them. And all of this good stuff, right? And guess what? This is the craziest kicker. Two weeks later, that same client was blown away by my product and signed a $2,000 I'm getting emotional because it's crazy. $2,000 package. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. And guess what, you guys? I paid my rent that next month. And I was like, you know what? I just might have found something that works for me, that I love, and that I enjoy. Sorry, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> It's crazy to be on the other side and come full circle because I'm like, I remember how scared I was and how depressed I was prior. And I was like, I am not going back to corporate America. My soul is going to die there. And that is why I pushed through so much that I was like, I'm going to find a way. You remember that? Yep. And that next month, you guys, I made close to $7,000 and I was blown away. I was like, what the freak? I was like, oh my God, I am meant to do this. This is crazy, you know? And I wish I could tell you that after that month, I continued to make $7,000 every month or more. But the truth is, that's not what happened. I ended up getting burnt out after three months. I really didn't have a proper work ethic. I like worked so much to the point where I didn't really balance resting. And, and then I went through all these other ups and downs, you know what I mean? So it's not like this one thing worked and then it kept working. But I knew that in that moment, the divine wanted to show me that this is possible and this can work for you. You know, and then I had to face all of my fears and my blocks and all those things that were blocking me from my next levels of breaking through for myself. And that's why I say, you know, I don't want to paint this glamorous picture that, you know, oh, this was easy. This happens overnight. All of that stuff that we tend to think that people tend to portray out there. I want to be transparent with you guys. And I want to tell you guys that it is not easy. Okay. Okay. I used to think that everyone should have their own business, and I realized everyone's not cut out for it. It is a certain type of cloth that entrepreneurs are made of, and it takes you to have that ability to keep failing and failing and failing and failing and failing and really getting your ego beat down until it works and you figure it out along the way. You know what I mean? And 
So that's the main thing that I wanted to share that, you know, that's why me reaching this 90K is such a big milestone for me. I'm like, whoa, I can't believe I made it till here because I remember being depressed in corporate America. I remember going to grad school. I remember being scared when I was first starting um, afterwards. You know what I mean? So that first digital sale was so powerful for me. And I wanted to share that with you guys because it worked. And it has continued to work all the way from $79 until $90,000. All right. So that's why I'm so excited to share with you guys this Get Seen method because I've only shared this with my private clients till now. I've never taught this publicly. So I'm super excited to give this to you guys. And if you guys stay till the very end, I'm going to give you guys the Get Seen method PDF so you can literally take it home and implement it with tips right away. Okay. Thank you guys for being with me and holding the space for me. So I want to tell you guys about more of the business results I got. You guys, I got published on Forbes.com. I got contacted by Forbes uh, Coaches Council like at the end of my first year in business. And I remember at that time also break down and crying. And I was like, I meant to do this. There's no way Forbes would come out and contact me if I wasn't meant to do this. And I felt like that was my reward for surviving that first year in business, which was really, really, really hard on me because your first year in business, you're really facing all of those uncomfortable feelings and all of your like unworthiness and all of your like not feeling good enough and all of that good stuff. You have to carve through each layer, each layer, each layer. And at that end of the year, I was like, I made it. You know, and then that next year I got published on Forbes.com and it was from getting seen, you guys. Other people apply for that opportunity. I got sought out for it. I got contacted. They had vetted me out and they wanted me to be a part of their community and write. And that's amazing. That's the power of getting seen, you guys, for free. Okay. No advertising dollars for free. I gained brand new clients from getting seen, just like the digital um, sale that I talked about, right? I got a bunch of new clients from getting seen. I became known as a marketing expert in my networks and in my community. Now, when I meet up with people or I see people out and about, they're like, hey, how's the marketing stuff going, right? People just know that about me because I'm very visible about it. Um, I've been able to grow my brand and I've been able to grow my um my audience, the group of people who come here and hang out and come learn about marketing, growing my uh, group of powerful, powerful business owners. I've been able to um, get requests for interviews, for podcasts, for webinars, guest teaching, all these different kinds of collaborations from what? From getting seen. I've gotten recognized by influencers. In fact, just I think two weeks ago, I got tagged for a paid gig by an influencer because they knew about me because I made myself visible. Awesome. All right. So now let's get into the get seen method. Are you guys ready to get into the nitty gritty good stuff? All right, cool. All right, so again, this Get Seen method I created um, before I actually went full-time into my business. Um, I wanted to, I didn't want to just start a business without a methodology or, or, or process that I, I use with my clients. And I created this methodology with, uh, you know, my 14 years of marketing experience, my two degrees in marketing, and my six years in consulting, business consulting, and also my intuition, which guides everything I do. And, um, you know, when I first came up with this model, I implemented it for myself first, right? And then I worked on it with clients and um, everybody out here and people were getting results. So I was like, okay, this is working, right? And now that you've seen my business come from $79 sale all the way to making $90,000, you can see that it works. But I will say... There is not one path to success, so I will not be the one to be like, oh, this only my method works, all that kind of stuff. Absolutely not. There are lots of methods that work. There are lots of different paths to success. 
but this is the path that has worked for me. And um, it just makes sense to me, right? Get seen so you can get hired and paid, right? So, um, but it's not just about waving your hands in the air and putting up signs about, hey, look at me, look at me, right? Hire me, hire me. There is a method to the process. So let's get into it now, okay? And if you guys have comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, um, I'll stop at the end of each section and then um, I'll check the questions then, okay? But for now, I'm just going to keep talking. But you can still put your questions in the comments and I'll answer them um, at the end of each section. So there's five main parts, okay? So let's get into the first part, okay? So the first part of the Get Seen Method is getting your branding right, okay? You have no idea how many people jump into the marketing process, but they haven't done the branding part yet. If you don't know what branding is, branding is essentially, a brand is essentially the personality or identity of your company, okay? So if you don't know what the identity of your company is, that's a problem. <laughs> because guess what? The identity is the foundation and base of your company, okay? Without a solid base, you're not going to be able to build all the other parts of your business. You want to be clear about your brand and your company, it is your personality. One of my professors from Northwestern said, um, a brand is a promise, a promise that you are giving to your consumers, your customers, etc., about what you're going to deliver, what you're going to show up, what people can expect when it comes to your brand. And then another professor added to that and said, a brand is a promise kept, okay? Because, of course, have you guys had companies who made promises, but then they didn't deliver on the promise. Maybe they screwed up. And this is this is like the worst one. I hate this one. And I, I really want to make a movement about changing this, where, you know, you have companies who will have these marketing advertisements claiming certain things, right? Oh, we have the best customer support team who's going to take care of all your needs, who's going to do X, Y, Z, and all this stuff, right? And what happens? You call the company and you're like, oh, this is awesome. I saw your commercial. This is great. Like, I'm going to get all this awesome stuff. And the customer representative is an absolute rude person. And you don't get any of those things that the company promised you in the commercial, right? I hate that. I hate that so much. And I think that gives marketing such a bad taste. But marketing is really essentially Allowing yourself to, I, I love to use this example of the lighthouse. Let's say there's a lighthouse out in the wilderness, right? And marketing is literally turning that lighthouse on. So people can see it. They can know that it exists. They can, um, you know, be invited to come to it. And then get an opportunity to experience the offers and services it provides, right? So, I love that about the promise being kept because it's not about just promising things and then not delivering on that. We build companies with integrity, okay? And um, I want that for all of you guys. So keep that in mind, right? And I know all of you guys are amazing practitioners, so that's not even an issue, but I just want to put that out there because that is an issue with companies out there. So what can you do with branding? Now, one cool thing I did is I actually gave you guys um, an uh activity question at the end of each section so you can actually implement it right away all right so here's a couple questions that you know in general you want to ask yourself what is your company what does your company stand for what are your company's values right what does your why does your company do what it does what is the foundation of why your company was even born why did your company even start what is your brand story what is your mission and most importantly, what is your core message? Oh my God, I just had a branding session this morning and it was amazing. And the clarity that came out of it for the business owner was mind blowing. And it was cool because, you know, what I love is business owners will come to me with like lots of sentences, you know, and one of my gifts is being able to make it concise and crisp and powerful, right? So your core message can just 
tell you what's up in a quick one-liner. So a couple core messages, for example, for companies that I've worked with are live, live clean, be happy. It's health related. Uh, the one that came up today was in the midst of your chaos, find your true center. My core message is live bold. In everything I do, everything I say, everything I put out there, I'm always encouraging people to be more bold. Be more bold in your life. Be more bold in your business. It is the core message of my brand. All right, so what is the core message of your brand? And that is the branding activity for this part. What is your core message? And take a moment to think about it, but let whatever comes out come out first because likely... That thing is your core message, whatever you think of first, because if you think too hard, you're probably going to lose it. You guys can feel free to put it in the comments if you'd like, if you have some ideas or what's coming up for you, what is your core message? For The first thing that comes up when I ask you that, if you were pulled up on stage right now, on the spot, you literally had a minute to respond and you were asked, what is one thing that you want everybody to know right now? What is that one thing? What would that be? If you guys have questions about this branding part, you can put that in here too. Trust yourself. Love yourself. Master your emotions. Master your life. Love it. Create your dream life. Cool. Awesome. All right, so if there's no questions for this part, I'm going to move on to part two. So part two is solutions, okay? Solutions that your company offers. So some things to think about. What does your company sell? You know, it's interesting, like a lot of um, entrepreneurs who are doing service-based businesses usually don't have their offerings set up or clear, or even determined, or anything like that. And it's like, you're trying to build a business, but you don't have anything to sell, right? So this is a huge key part of getting paid by using the Get Seen method. It's important for you to be very clear about the solutions that your company provides for your customer. And to even vet out your solution, do people even want your solution? Is your solution needed and wanted? What problem does your company solve? What are the solutions that your company offers? So what exactly is your company helping people with? Are you clear on that? Because if you're not clear on that, that confusion is going to leave your clients and potential clients, I mean, also confused. And that means no new clients, no new sales, no impact that you can give, right? So here's the question for you for solutions. What is your core solution? What is the core thing that you help people solve? What is the core problem that you help people solve? What is the solution that your company provides? You know, a lot of people that come to me come with marketing overwhelm. They're like, I am just so overwhelmed by marketing. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. I don't know which social media platform to be on, right? And they need clarity. And those are the solutions that I provide. I help people get marketing clarity. I help people build a marketing plan. And I help people um, build a branding that really reflects who their company is. So what is your core solution? You can put it in the comments as well. To help your brain get those juices flowing. The next part is customers, of course. I see someone left a message, so I'm going to check. 
um, Andrea said, to help heal hearts, transform minds, and activate dreams. Cool. Clarity, peace of mind, feeling spiritually connected. Awesome. So customers are essentially what your business grows from, right? So are you even talking to your customers, right? I just feel like there's this big disconnect between companies and their customers. And I strive to help close that gap because your customers are the most important part of your business. So it's important for you to know who they are. Who are your customers? Who are your products and services for? Where does your customer hang out? What does your customer do? What does your customer like? What does your customer want? What does your customer want is the biggest and most important question ever. Because guess what? I see so many times that business owners are creating solutions that their customer don't want. Their customer maybe needs, but they don't want it. Because maybe they need to go through a process before they can even get to the place to need or want that thing that you're offering them. So it's so important to know your customer well and really know what they want. Because if you know what they want, you can then create the solutions that help solve their problem. And this is a huge, huge, huge gap that I see a lot. So remember this, if you feel like your ebook's not getting out there, no one's signing up for your opt-in, no one's signing up for your classes, are you creating stuff that people actually want? Or are you just creating random things that you think people want? Right? There's that mentality. I see a lot of people talking about it now too, um, about build it and they will come, right? You can't just build a solution that you think people want and expect people to show up because that's not how it works. You want to create solutions that people actually want and then once you're working with them, you will also give them what they need because that's where the real transformation will happen or the real you know, solution will happen and all of that. And I'm mixing, I'm mixing between service-based businesses and product-based businesses. So if you have any specific questions related to one or the other, feel free to ask it. But I'm talking about both because this Getsy method is a plug and, pay, plug and play framework that you can apply to any business in any industry. Okay, so it's not limited to coaches and healers or something like that. It also works for, um, you know, brick and mortar businesses. This morning I was working with a yoga studio, for example, right? So it can work for, I even worked with a laundromat when I was in Evanston. I helped a laundromat with marketing with the same exact framework. So uh, Deanna said, your customers want to feel validated and important, especially in their relationships. I love that. That is super clear. Awesome. And by knowing what your customer wants is how you're going to create your solutions and also create your marketing messages. All right, so here is your customer activity. Who is your core customer? Who is your core customer? It doesn't have to be a long-winded thing for this portion, but... You can just say a few adjectives or a few things that you feel like this is your core customer. Someone who's intuitive but doesn't always trust it. Cool. And everybody else, I invite you to dive in because I don't want you to just watch this passively. I want your brains to be churning and you getting ideas as we're doing this as well. So use the chat box to put stuff in there. Okay, cool. Andrea said, single corporate Christian women. Awesome. That's super clear. I love that. Who is your core customer? Awesome. <laughs> Lindsay said, I'm taking notes. Good. Someone who craves an unconventional relationship in life different than their parents and isn't sure how to create that and have permission for that. Love it. 
All right, let's get into systems, guys. This is one of my favorite things because when I was doing business consulting, um, you know, I helped create efficient and um, stronger processes, stronger communication, stronger efficient processes. And there's nothing that drives me more crazy than um, business owners who are spending a lot of time doing something manually when it could really be automated. And I don't mean automating um, things that you are you need to be present for, but really things that are so simply can be set up. Like for example, uh, a client booking an appointment, right? Like I have had a few clients who um, book client appointments by emailing back and forth to find the perfect time. Do you guys have any idea how much energy you are depleting of yourself by doing that? When you could just have a link for someone to sign up and schedule an appointment and you don't even need to be there or present for any of it, you basically can save maybe 20% of your energy for that day. 20% that could go to some other place in your business, like getting seen, like creating solutions, like talking to your customers, right? So systems are so powerful and so, so important to me. And business owners are very happy when after the fact, after the systems are implemented, and they're seeing how much time they're saving from it. So here's some questions to think about. What's your client intake process? When a client hires you, um, what happens next? Do you have a process? You know, it makes it easier and more efficient if you do have a process. So think about how you can kind of minimize um, your um, extra time that doesn't need to take all this extra time, right? You can set up the process once and then repeat it again and again, and then make tweaks over time, right? You can make tweaks over time, always. Or what is your um, process for communicating with your clients and customers? Do you even communicate with them? Do you have a system to communicate with them? Do you have a process to communicate with them? Do you have business policies, right? These are really, really important things that you want to have when you have a business, because guess what? Then anything can go haywire if you don't have business policies and practices already set up about how you expect things to be or how you know you expect the client relationship to work. Remember, this is your business. You choose how you want your business to be run and how um, you what works best for you. So, but it's important for you to create those systems. You know, another amazing process is. Like that I've implemented and I've um, slowly gotten some of my clients to start implementing is picking days which you do sessions and not just doing sessions every single day because one, it gets really draining. I don't know about you, but usually days that I have sessions, I'm wiped out for the rest of the day. I don't have any energy left, right? So planning that out so you can make the most of your energy and make the most of what you're doing here because as a business owner, you are going to be holding a lot of hats. You already are probably holding, wearing a lot of hats. So where can you reduce that time, make it easier on yourself, and make it a more pleasant experience for your client? Because it's a more pleasant experience for your client also, I think personally, for them to be able to go on a link and book a time rather than emailing back and forth, you know? It drives me crazy. It drives me crazy when people do that. And even when I'm on the receiving end of it, I'm like, so, you know, in the beginning, I, I used to just give unsolicited marketing advice to people and it totally wasn't cool, but I didn't know better at the time. So I did. And, you know, I'd be like, hey, um, you should really use a scheduling system, you know, and over time I've gotten better with my communication methods. But I'm like, hey, have you ever thought about um, using a client appointment scheduling system? There's a bunch of free ones that are really good and I know it would take off a lot of time off your hands. If you're interested, I have a couple suggestions for you, right? So that's an example of a system that can save you a lot of time and effort. And then this is crazy, you guys, but how does a customer get your solutions, right? It's crazy how people will sell things and build, like, be trying to, like, grow their business and all these things, but then they're not sending people anywhere. They're not sending anyone to a place to actually get that product or service or solution, like what? Systems are so important. Systems are so important for you to get seen and for you to get paid. Okay. And I'm super passionate about it. So I want to help you get your systems set up. So here's a systems activity for you. And again, put this in the chat comments. 
What's one easy process you can implement today? Okay, you don't need to know how, you don't need to know what or like any of that. You just need to know what, what's one thing that you know is taking up a lot of time and you would love to find an easier process or a way to do this. Because I promise you, there will be an easier way to do it. There will be something that you can implement or create a process, even if it's for your own mental sanity, that okay, when a client books with me, here's the steps I'm gonna take the client through. This is what I'm gonna do. This is the methodology or this is the process or this is the whatever, right? So what's one easy process you can implement today? Is it a client intake process? Is it a client sign up process? Is it how your client gets to your solutions? Is it maybe um, your business practices and policies? What's one easy process you can implement today? Or even a schedule of which days you do what? I just had a, Deanna said, I just had a 90 minute meeting to create more effective systems with my VA. Awesome, that's amazing. That makes me so happy. I can already feel all the free time that's coming out, out of it. Dealing with client payment plans when they change their card information. Okay, cool. That's a good one because I know those can be frustrating and take up a lot of energy and time. So that's great to set up a process for that. I love it. Awesome. All right. And the fifth part of the Get Seen Method is having a plan. I see another chat, so I'm going to see. Create an opt-in for email email list. Perfect. Andrea, do that. Do that. Do that this week, girlfriend. Do it this week. You can do it. All right, so planning is so important because guess what? On some level, you have to have a direction of where you're going because if you don't have a direction of where you're going, then where the hell are you going? <laughs> Your brain is a monkey brain as we decided in our class last week. We have a monkey brain that likes to think and go places and go places in all the wrong times <laughs> and think all of these things that are really not helpful when you are trying to build a business. But having a plan, having a direction, having goals, all of that good stuff gives your brain some structure and it gives your brain some focus. That focus is so, so important. Because if you don't know where you're going, now I'm not saying you have to plan out your whole year, although it would be beneficial, but not everybody is comfortable or ready or able to jump into getting at 100%. My ask is that you just move forward a little bit more and then next week move forward a little bit more, right? Oftentimes my plan is about three months out. I'll have a one year overall goal, but I can't always plan more than three months out. And then what I'll have is each week, I'll sit and see what I'm doing for that week, all right? So it's important for you to know, what is your marketing plan? What is your business plan? What's your visibility plan? What promotions are you running? What are you doing, right? You don't wanna just haphazardly get on live stream and do random stuff because if you're truly trying to build a business that makes money, you have to have some sort of plan, all right? That plan is what's gonna help you get closer to your goals. Will you hit your goals right away? Maybe, maybe not. But your plan is gonna move you steps closer each and every time, and that's the important part. So here is your planning activity. What's one thing that you want to add to your marketing plan this year? What's one thing that you wanna to add to your marketing plan this year? See what comes up for you right away. Let's tap into our intuition with this and not just using our brains because our brains will take us into a loop, right? It'll take us all over the place. What's one thing that you've been feeling called to implement? Scheduling Facebook live trainings. Awesome. I tend to do them on the fly. Awesome. Create, uh, creating a business plan. Awesome. Cool. I love it. All right, so I wanna share with you guys some connections that I've made through Getting Seen. All right, just to show you um, how examples of how it can work. So those are the five main parts for now. So if you have any questions, put it in the box and I'm gonna keep going. All right, so here is a client um, that I got from Getting Seen. All right, 
she uh, ended up joining us and then she watched one of my trainings, which is in my Marketing Superstars monthly program, um, which if you guys are not familiar with it and you're interested, it's my monthly program where I'm available to answer all your marketing questions every single month. You can cancel anytime. All right. Mybrandvoice.com slash superstar if you want to check it out. But that launch a 5K course is inside that group. So that's the course she's talking about here. And, um, and uh, you know, she watched my training. She implemented it. She's putting her final touches up. And she launched her course. And she made some sales. And where did I get this client from? I got this client from getting seen online. Okay? So here's a very concrete, real person example of someone that I met online. I have never met Tamala in person. Tamala is awesome. If you guys are part of Marketing Superstars, you'll see her in there. She's also part of the Star Marketing Club, all right? So here's another client that I got from getting seen in a Facebook group. Um, Sunny here. So she left a review on my business page. I just pasted it here for you to see. Thank you, Aditi, for helping me streamline and formulate all my steps to my business and getting visible, et cetera, et cetera. I continue to grow, and Aditi, she gets me, right? Again, I met this person in a Facebook group from getting seen online. And Sunny, I did have the pleasure of uh, getting to meet in person uh, in California last year, so that's super fun. Um, but here's another example of me getting seen online in a Facebook group, and I got a client from it, right? Because guess what? I was clear on my branding, I was clear on my expertise, I was clear on my solutions, and I was clear on my plan and where I was going and where I was taking people with me. And I got a client. So uh, again, getting seen online, someone sent me this private message and said, hey, Didi, you're such an inspiration to me. I just watched your Periscope video and I'm about to open my account and start marketing my business. Thank you so much. Super cool. This is a completely random person who messaged me who um, got a chance to uh, check out one of my YouTube training videos about Periscope and they watched it and they literally started implementing it right away. So cool, right? But guess what? This keeps me in mind and in sight for people who are interested in hiring a marketing strategist in the future. Someone who, um, and so this is someone who enjoyed a free resource that I shared online. Andrea said, I'm feeling a bit of sh a shift in my business because I've noticed that I find myself coaching my coaches. And it's not what I intended to do, but I can't help myself. So I'm wondering if I need to pursue this more. Cool. I don't know if you're asking me a question or if you're just telling me, but that's cool. And I think what I will say, that's important for you to notice, okay? Important for you to notice where your energy is going and um, what kind of is working for you, what you're enjoying, and follow that. So here is me um, getting seen as an expert, right? Positioning myself as an expert. Somebody had asked a question related to marketing and I said, hey, I'm a marketing strategist. This is my personal belief about where to start and here is a free training that I have that you can check out. So here's an example, a very concrete example of you guys seeing me getting seen right here through a comment that I made on Facebook and um, sharing my training. And this, again, allowed me to get seen. <laughs> so I want to talk about some getting seen side effects. Uh, do you guys have any idea what I might mean by getting seen side effects and what do you think some getting seen side effects might be? I'm curious to see, because I kind of came up with this name based on what uh, felt right, but I'm curious what this portrays to you guys if you see this. What would be a getting seen side effect, you think? What would be some side effects that would happen from getting seen? More people knowing who you are, absolutely. The results or benefits such as being asked to speak, absolutely. So 
The getting seen side effects that I'm talking about initially are the stuff that we're all afraid of. Getting seen side effects. The more you are seen, the more you are visible, the more your company's out there, there will absolutely be trolls or you know negative comments or negative people. There will be people coming to you wanting free stuff coming out of the woodworks and getting seen will be uncomfortable. Okay, you're gonna be stretched. You're going to be uncomfortable. There's going to be a lot of, you can say, growing pains and also a lot of stuff for you to face and deal with. You were thinking trolls, right? Yep, exactly. And if there's one thing that stops people from getting seen, it is the trolls more than anything because people are so terrified of what other people are going to say and it's just... It paralyzes them from putting themselves out there and actually getting their business out there. So here's what I want to tell you. So here's an example, right? So I posted a story in a Facebook group and someone wrote this comment. They were like, no offense, but this sounds like one of those rambly Facebook ads that I always scroll past because it's way too long. And I was like, what the hell? (laughs) First of all, this person clearly had some time to stop and comment And you didn't scroll past because you stopped and commented. And, you know, it's up to you how you want to work with these uh, type of trolls and all that kind of stuff. But in this moment, I decided I wanted to respond. And I said, that's totally fine. This is for people who need it, you know. But by the time I was posting it, this person had already deleted their comment. So I couldn't even post it. But it was interesting. I guess that person was like, uh, this sounds weird. Maybe I should not say that. All right. So there's an example of a troll. So, but, so this is what I want to tell you, okay? But, yes, there are some getting seen side effects, but you will be blown away by how awesome you and your company is. You'll be blown away, okay? When I created my course, Confident Marketing Academy, which was my second big signature marketing course, I was blown away by what I created. It was way better than what I expected. I was like, wow, I really do know what I'm talking about. Okay, these videos look good. And I was blown away by my own expertise and my own awesomeness. So I promise you, the more you get seen, the more you face these uncomfortable feelings, the more you put yourself out there, you will be blown away by yourself. You will have more confidence and you'll grow your business. Amazing. You'll also get to know your customers more, which is priceless. If you're hiding, right, if you're not visible, if you're not connecting with your customers, how are you going to know what they want? How are you going to know what they like? How are you going to know what it is that they need and what solution you can create for them? Getting seen gets you this information because you get to have that dialogue with people. You'll also be making a difference. You'll be making a difference in many people's lives by showing up because whatever it is that your company offers, it is helping address a problem. It is helping create a solution. It is helping people maybe end some suffering. It is helping people put a smile on their face. It's making a real difference. And that's one thing I love about having a business you really get to see the impact that you're making right away. And you can't always get that when you're in corporate America and you're doing other things, right? So even though getting seen has those side effects, I wanted to show you guys the sunny side of it too. And the reason why it's all worth it, you know? And I personally believe, it's my personal belief, that your life will completely fall into place in exactly the place it's need to be as you step in to doing the work that you were put on this earth to do. The more that I step into my business and step into my life purpose and the work that I'm meant to do on this planet, the more the rest of my life just seems to be getting figured out on its own. It's pretty freaking cool. So if there's any stuff that's happening in your life that's frustrating you, that feels heavy, that feels like, is this ever going to change, right? For me, Working on my life purpose and committing to what my soul was here is here to do started to heal all of those things that I was frustrated about that I just wanted to get out of or I wish they would change but I just felt so trapped. 
So that's just another benefit to really going in full with this, really going in full with this. And I know it's not easy. I know it's hard. I know. And it, and it's hard because all of the stuff that you have to face, right? All of your fears that you have to face, all of your tech mishaps, your hiccups, you have to face potential humiliation, right? If you're going to be speaking or if you're going to be getting on camera, like screwing up, falling flat on your face, that part is really hard. It was for me and it is for me. And it's worth it. That's all I have to say. You guys saw me crying in the beginning. It's freaking worth it. So I hope this is inspiring you to really go in full force because those people who are looking for that solution that you have are waiting for you. They are waiting for you to show up. They're waiting for you to get your solutions together and stop being in your head and waiting for permission. They're waiting for you to get out there and serve. All right. So I went over the get seen method here for you guys, and I hope that each activity question helped you get a little bit clearer and get a little bit more clarity. So Andrea, Andrea said, I haven't been playing full out, but watching what is happening as I coach other coaches, which are not life coaches, is giving me confidence. Perfect. This is what I tell everyone, you guys. This is what I tell all my clients. Just focus on getting one foot in front of the other. Just get one foot in front of the other. Maybe you can't run the whole mile. You know, you know, one of my clients this um, uh, this in these past two weeks, you know, she didn't have everything ready with her landing page, her sales page, her copy, all that other stuff. She was like, Aditi, I think I should not launch. I don't have anything ready. I said, no, launch. Freaking get it out there because people want it. People are paying for your expertise and your knowledge and your solutions more than they're paying for everything to look perfect and be perfect. So the more you can kind of get over yourself, as my master coach tells us, the more you'll be able to get out there and serve and help people. And guess what? She did it. She did it. She put it out there and she made multiple sales in these last few weeks. She made multiple sales in just a couple of days. And I'm so happy that we just moved forward. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. You need to get 1.0 out there. All right. So do you guys want help implementing the get seen method? If you do, I have something here for you that is going to help because there's a lot more steps in each section. I just gave you a very small uh, fraction of it because there's not anywhere enough time to go through everything. But if you want to move forward in your business full force, and you want to get clear on all of these things and really start building your business and really start getting out there and really start having results, then I have something for you. All right? Get Seen, Get Paid 2.0 is back, baby. So some of you guys may remember Get Seen, Get Paid was the first course that I launched publicly ever when I launched my marketing business. So it was my first course. It was my baby that really launched me into starting my business and um, you know, that first year I ran it three times and last year I didn't run it at all, but I've been feeling very strongly guided to revamp the entire course and now put in all my new knowledge and all my new expertise, including everything that I've done from, you know, getting that first $79 sale to now making $90,000 and putting it in this course. So it's 2.0 because I'm refilming, redoing everything and putting all of this goodness into it for you guys. All right, so let's talk about it. So this is a five week course for business owners who want to get visible and increase their bottom line, okay? And it's gonna include these five sections that I just went over, which is gonna be the branding, the solutions, the customers, the systems, the plan. We're gonna get your shit so tight, so clear, so on point that you will literally have people knowing who you are because you're going to get seen and because you're going to get seen you're going to get paid as well with these systems solutions and plans that we set up together okay it doesn't have to be complicated the number one thing that people love about working with me is that i make it super simple and easy and implementable for you because i know marketing can be overwhelming and guess what i'm actually an empath and i get really overwhelmed and drained easily so I personally think I was chosen to teach marketing 
for other people like me who I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? That makes no sense. This is so complicated for me. I don't know what these funnels are and these landing pages and this, that, this buy-in, and I just don't even know. The sales copy, whatever, right? But what I do is I help you take that complicated stuff and make it so much easier so you can actually take that next step forward. Because the last thing that I want is for you to be paralyzed in overwhelm, in frustration, and not knowing how to move forward. And we're going to end that here because this system, this process, this method is a plug and play method that you can use in any business you create. So you come into this course now, you can use these systems again and again for any business. And anytime you want to revamp your business, I have clients who have used this process maybe even every six months to get even more clarity on their branding, even more um, stronger with the solutions that they offer, even more uh, efficient with the systems that they implement, right? So this is something that you can use again and again and again, and you will have that lifetime value. Anytime I update any videos, you will have that. The first time I ran this, I did not include that. But this round, I am doing it because I'm setting it up on my membership portal. You're going to have your own email login to um, have access to everything, okay? And this time, I'm doing it nice. I'm doing it big. I'm going to have worksheets for you every week, which I didn't have the first round. I'm going to have brand new videos, Um that are really going to break things down and make it easier for you to digest and implement. Because I've worked with a ton of clients now that I know um, what sounds confusing, what's going to be easier, what should I do to make it easier for you to implement. Again, my goal is for you to implement, okay? Because I've been in business long enough and I've had clients who just would like not implement. They just wanted to be building their website for years and there's nothing else going on. And I don't want that. I only want you in here if you're ready to do the work as if you are ready to get seen, okay? So if you're ready to get seen with me, let's freaking do this because I want you to get the results that you're meant to get. I want you to live the life that you're meant to live that is going to happen as you move through these blocks. And I, and I tell you, even just yesterday, I had a client who was doing the system process setup thing and it was literally taking her hours, okay? I looked at it for about 15, 20 minutes. We were able to resolve it and she was good to go. And she was able to move forward with launching her course. And I've been doing this for a few years now and I am able to help you move through those same blocks that I had. And if there are things that you know I don't know, I have a lot of resources that I can tap into and get them for you, all right? So that's kind of what's going on with this right here. And this is what you're gonna leave the course with, okay? You're gonna get a lot of tangible things. This is not just, oh, you should do these things and good luck, sayonara, have a nice day. Absolutely not, okay? You're going to leave this course with a finished and completed brand story, a completed mission statement, an elevator speech, a core message for your business. This is all the stuff that's going to really catapult your business. Give it that clarity, give you the confidence to move forward. You're going to have a clear customer profile. You're going to have customer profile research because we're doing all of this in the course together. You're going to have a better understanding of your customer. You're going to have clear offers and services, right? Clear solutions. You're going to have web copy. You're going to have marketing systems. You're going to have a marketing plan. You're going to have brand clarity. You're going to have online visible strategies visibility strategies. You're going to have marketing confidence instead of marketing overwhelm. You're going to have this get seen method for you to use over and over again. You're going to have a supportive community. You're going to have your marketing questions answered because in that group, I will be answering your questions. Okay. So let me show you guys what it looks like. So you're going to go to get seen, get paid.com. All right, it's literally getseengetpaid.com. And you'll see this page come up. So Get Seen Get Paid 2.0 is here. Marketing made simple, fun, and easy to implement, all right? So 
These are inside secrets to grow your business without advertising dollars, okay? Because I have made this first 90K with no advertising dollars, okay? So this is not a course where I'm going to teach you Facebook ads, all right? This is a course where I'm going to teach you how to use what you got and what you have to get out there and get seen and get paid. The best thing that I'm good at is coming up with a workaround, okay? So if you don't have money to buy this system, we will come out with a workaround. If you don't have money to sign up for this certain scheduling thing, we'll come up with a workaround. I am known for my workarounds. And even if, like, for example, you don't have your landing page ready or sales page ready, but you're launching your course tonight, you're doing a class, right? I will have a workaround for you. And you'll have access to me inside of that for about a couple months because what I'm doing here is what you're going to do is we're not going to have a dedicated uh, group just for this course but what you're going to do is you're going to get access to my marketing superstars membership for a few months and in there you're going to ask me your marketing questions you're going to post your prompts and I'm going to give you feedback inside of there so if you need workarounds ask me in there and I will give you an answer to how to do that all right so this is what each week is going to cover the first week is building strong company branding, right? Because branding is the foundation of your business. Without having a strong brand, you don't have a strong brand and company identity that people can connect to and relate to. And in week two, we're going to create solutions that actually sell, right? We're not going to have random stuff. We're going to create things with intention that people actually want, Week three, we're going to get in front of the right customers. We're going to talk about your visibility plan and getting out there. How are you, what social media platforms are you going to use? What systems are you going to use? What, uh, where are you going to go to get your business visible? Week four, we're going to talk about setting up your marketing system. So I'm going to tell you all my favorite systems, all the ones that I use, and I'll even help you uh, with your questions and setting anything up that I know of, Okay. Then in week five, we're going to create your marketing plan. So I'm going to show you guys how to create a marketing plan that's unique for you because every business is unique. All right. You're also going to leave the course with all these jewels, which I kind of went over in the um, slides, a completed brand story, an understanding of online marketing, a clear profile on your customer's ideal customer, or your company's ideal customer, new business systems, confidence and clarity, a marketing plan that's unique to your business, and so much more. I actually have more on that slide um, that I will add on here too. But you'll also get all these bonuses. So one of the bonuses I told you about is uh, you're going to get three months to the Marketing Superstars membership program, okay? This is a monthly program, and that's where you're going to ask me your marketing questions every single week. I do weekly um, office hours thread every single Thursday. You can put in any question you want, and I will give you a thorough response. And I also do a um, coaching call once a month. And in addition to all of that stuff, just for people who are part of this course this offering this round just this round I am doing two live calls for you guys okay normally this is an evergreen course which means people can join the course and take it um, and I don't run it live but because I'm revamping this and it's just a brand new version 2.0 I wanted to run it live with you guys and do this together and that is invaluable because that is where I'll get to it put my hands um and eyes and mind directly on your business and help you move to that next step because it's so easy to get stuck. When I tell you it's easy to get stuck, it's so easy to get stuck, right? In one place. I can't figure this out. Okay, then a week passes by. No. Get in that group and ask me that question and I will tell you what to do so you can keep it moving. All right? So this group is going to be very important to help you implement and move forward with the stuff in the course. You're also going to get the Marketing Basics course, okay? So this is a six-part training that gives you everything you need for setting up your, um, your branding, your website, your freebie, your email marketing, your landing pages, your social media, all that good stuff. So all of that stuff that you need to set up your online presence and, uh, you know, make it stronger, all that good stuff, it's going to be in that course. And you are going to get that as well, okay? And that's a short course, so it's not going to be overwhelming for you guys. So what is the investment, all right? So there's two options for you guys here. Um, you can get the course alone, which is $5.95. Now I'll tell you guys, um, my